Hello friends, welcome back to Dr. Jaggi's Academy. In this lecture, we will study another important reaction which is known as Perkin reaction. Perkin reaction basically, uh, Perkin, or we can also say that Perkin condensation. The Perkin condensation is that condensation in which the aromatic aldehyde reacts with the aliphatic anhydride. It takes place in the presence of sodium salt of carboxylic acid. So which carboxylic acid we will hear used? That carboxylic acid is used which is derived from, from which the anhydride is derived. So in this reaction we use aromatic aldehyde which is benzaldehyde that reacts with the acetic anhydride. And these two compounds are heated in the presence of uh, sodium acetate at temperature 453 Kelvin. So why do we use a sodium acetate? Because their anhydride is derived from the acetic acid. So how does it take place? We have an acetic acid. We have two molecules of acetic acid. Then it undergo dehydration means loss of water. So OH from this molecule and H from this molecule and these remaining molecules they are combined to form anhydride which is known as acetic anhydride. So this is a CH3, CO this one and this oxygen again CO and CH3. So this is acetic anhydride. So this acetic anhydride derived from the acetic acid. So that is why we here use sodium acetate, that sodium salt of acetic acid. So when these two molecules they are combined in the presence of sodium acetate, then there is a loss of water from these two molecules. So how does the water loss? In this case, the oxygen from this benzaldehyde and H2 from this one. H2 from this molecule. So undergo loss of water and the remaining two molecules they are linked each other with the carbon-carbon double bond. So in this case we get a condensation product in which C6H5 single bond CH again this CH double bond is joined to the this CH again CO, O, CO and CH3. So this is a condensation product. This condensation furthermore undergo hydrolysis. So how does hydrolysis take place? Hydrolysis means breakdown of water. So in this case OH and H they undergo lysis means breakdown. So in this case due to hydrolysis we get two product. C6H5 CH double bond CH COOH so we get a cinnamic acid on the other hand we get another import product that which is known as acetic acid CH3 COOH so due to hydrolysis of this condensation product we get two product so this is a Perkin condensation reaction next we will start the mechanism of Perkin condensation how does it actually take place it actually take place in a two step in a first step, the carb anion, that is the acetate ion, which is produced from sodium acetate, it reacts with the acetic anhydride. So, in this case, the acetate ion acts as a base. Base means it obstructs the H positive ion. It has tendency to combine with H positive ion. So, in the acetic anhydride, this carbon is an alpha carbon because this carbon is attached next to the function group. So hydrogen atom attached to this carbon is known as a hydrogen atom. So acetate ion which acts as a base, it obstructs the H positive ion from alpha positive ion. It obstructs the H positive ion from the acetic anhydride. Resulting, there is a carbon hydrogen sigma electron move toward the up carbon. So when it obstructs the H positive ion, it forms an acetic acid. On the other hand, this carbon acquires negative charge. Resulting, this molecule contains negative charge which is known as carb anion. This is a first step. In a second step, the carb 
anion which is produced in a first step. They are wrecked with the second molecule of the aldehyde. This is a benzaldehyde. So in this case, carbon ion again acts as a nucleophile. It has tendency to combine with electron deficient site. So as a carbon ion or nucleophile, when they come close to this aldehyde, then there is a migration of pi electron toward the oxygen. Due to oxygen has more electron negative, so it has tendency to withdraw the electron toward itself. So as a result, oxygen acquired negative charge and carbon acquired positive charge. So now this carboanion, they attack on this positively charged center with the formation of carbon-carbon sigma bond. So due to migration of this carboanion toward the electron deficient, we get another anion due to the presence of negative charge on this molecule. This anion, they abstract H positive means proton from the acid to form the aldol product. So in this case, H positive, they are combined with OH negative to form alcohol. And this product is known as aldol product. This aldol product, when they are wrapped with the again base, base which is acted as the acetate ion. So acetate ion again abstract the alpha hydrogen. So this is a carbon is alpha carbon because this carbon is next to the functional group. So this base, they are abstract the alpha hydrogen. As a result, there is a migration of this carbon hydrogen sigma toward this and along with the living of OH negative. So it means there is a loss of water H from alpha and OH from beta carbon. So due to loss of water in the aldol, there is a formation of carbon-carbon double bond between these two carbon atoms. So in this case, there is a formation of carbon-hydrogen double bond. So in this case, we get a condensation product. And this condensation further undergo hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means the breakdown of water. So hydrolysis means this is a OH and H. They undergo breakdown. They undergo hydrolysis. So in this case, OH from OH combines with CO group and H combined with this O. So in this case, we get two product. Number one is that is cinnamic acid, C6H5CH, double bond CH, COOH. And second product is CH3COOH. So this is a mechanism of Perkin condensation. It takes place in a two steps and uh, this is an important reaction of shown by the aldehyde. Thank you.